Greetings. Today, I will be evaluating the effectiveness of earthquake prediction and mitigation technologies. I have investigated this topic due to a personal interest in the subject, as well as the general rising importance of these topics due to urbanization causing more and more people to live in closer and more densely populated areas. High magnitude earthquakes can very easily destroy the lives of millions in the most densely populated areas. The three primary technologies I have researched are seismometers, shear walls, and tuned mass dampers. Additionally, in order to further understand the effectiveness of these technologies, research was conducted into how earthquakes form, the physics behind their travel, and why they're destructive. From the start, earthquakes originate from bursts of energy within the lithosphere, typically caused by colliding tectonic plates or rocks slipping past one another. For simplicity, we'll say that this energy is released in P waves and S waves, or primary and secondary waves. The P waves act similarly to a firework, shooting beams of energy from the hypocenter that travel through the rock making up the lithosphere. These waves act similarly to light when moving through layers of differing densities, refracting upwards towards the surface. These waves are also significantly less destructive, and reach the surface much faster than the following secondary waves, making these waves ideal to detect. S waves are significantly more destructive and act more like a ripple in a calm body of water, chaining through the ground and breaking up a rock as it goes. The destructive nature of these waves is not to be underestimated. While researching this topic, I encountered numerous technologies for earthquake mitigation and a few results for earthquake prediction. I've chopped this up to there being a wider array of methods to reduce the impact of an event as opposed to the narrower ways to avoid an event. As example of this, there are many more ways for a car to reduce the impact of a crash than there are to avoid the crash in the first place. The most notable prediction technology is the seismograph, or the seismometer, a piece of technology first developed in 1890. A seismometer works by measuring the movements of the ground in relation to the seismograph itself. As seen in these diagrams, a mass is suspended above a piece of paper attached to the ground. When the ground moves, the paper moves, but the mass with the pen attached remains stationary, causing a graph to form. Here is an example seismogram recorded in late 2011 near Japan. The different colored waves correspond to different directional movements, as seen in this diagram, with red being north-south, blue being east-west, and green being up-down. As indicated, there are pr the prominent primary and secondary waves one after the other. However, the red circle indicates more activity probably too small to make a real impact or just blocked by the preceding waves. Earthquake mitigation technologies are far more common for reasons previously disclosed, and because of this I was more selective in the technologies I researched in depth. The two technologies, shear walls and tuned mass dampers, had the most promising information. Starting with shear walls, they are essentially a vertical wall that is designed to resist seismic and wind forces. Think of shear walls in terms of a square, where a normal wall is like a square, and a shear wall is a square with a cross supporting it, as seen. This added support allows the wall to resist more force. This technology is especially useful in buildings with a large area, such as a stadium. Tuned mass dampers can be thought of as a pendulum located in a building or structure. The purpose of TMDs is to reduce vibrations from wind or seismic activity and is especially useful in high-rise buildings and some bridges. This diagram can be used to visualize the principles of the TMD. As you can see, the mass acts as a counterbalance to the moving building, causing a smaller net force. A practical example of this can be seen in the Rion Entry on Bridge, which uses similar, albeit slightly different, mechanic to be usable in the event of a seismic event. I have found that with current prediction technologies, accurately predicting any major earthquake is next to impossible with seismographs. Other devices track the ground level of two different locations and precisely track any movements. These devices are slightly more effective, although their precision causes easy false alarms from even the slightest of movements, such as that of a car driving past, making them unreliable. As seen in this graph, there have been no major earthquakes ever successfully predicted using the three guidelines uh, outlined on screen. 
From this, I have determined that the current technology is too complicated at present for humans to understand, and is hence ineffective. With mitigation technologies, the results were vastly different. In this example, the sheer walls indicated in red can reduce the effects of seismic damage on buildings by up to 55-60%, to 60 depending on the configuration. Comparing the results of each configuration to Model 1, which has no shear walls, you can clearly see the effectiveness in reducing movement. On top of this, shear walls are highly cost-effective relative to other mitigation technologies. Due to this, shear walls have been deemed a highly effective technology. TMDs are another passive technology that can significantly reduce the effects of seismic activity. The graph shown demonstrates how much the TMDs can reduce overall movements of a building during seismic events. The highest that the TMD building goes is roughly 0.04 meters compared to the 0.2 meters in a building without. This graph shows how much more force is required to topple the building in a smaller scale model. The unit on the bottom is the peak ground acceleration, measured in intensity, where 0.001g is equal to 0.01 meters per second squared. As such, the model building could survive up to 1.2 meters per second squared, which is roughly six times more than that without the damper. As such, it can be concluded that TMDs are a highly effective technology for minimizing damage to buildings. Overall, we can conclude that earthquake prediction has a ways to go before it becomes useful, and current earthquake mitigation technology is highly effective at saving lives and infrastructure alike. Thank you.